Whoops. Hi there. It's Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have glasses and a 10 by 20 inch canvas and a plan. And the plan includes, uh, maybe I'll wait on that. The plan includes what? I'm going to use black. I wasn't going to use black, but I am going to use black. I'm going to use black and hopefully like it. <laughs> That is my OXO omelette turning spatula. I am going to do a vertical scape up and down. And I'm going to use some paint that's wet to slide that vertical scape. I'm a lot nervous about what I'm going to do with the top of this. But right now, I need to be fast and I've got some paint to use up. And I can touch up my edge with my spatula very quickly by using my finger and if it needs touching up later I'll give some touching up later. In the meantime that's just about enough <laughs> for me to steal some because I'm going to add and tip all the paint anyway so it shouldn't make any difference. I'm going to do the same thing right on the end. I think I zoomed the camera out far enough for you guys to see. forgot to set my tim timer for the last uh, for the last video, so I have no idea what that's going to be like. But that was these colors that I have made up on a horizontal. I hate wasting paint, so I'm going to take all the paint off my OXO omelette turning spatula and all the paint I can get off my tile. Wipe that down in case I want to use it again in a minute. Make sure I have an edge catcher handy somewhere here. Yes, I do. And I'm going to go ahead and do some strange stuff. I am going to take my beautiful colors and my butter dish. And I'm just going to spread them in stripes. And maybe I will go ahead. Let's put one down first. Let's just put one down that I don't mind. Yep, it went right over, didn't it? Let's use the first one to spread those colors over. And I'm planning on doing this a bunch of times, so I really don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to rock that to cover that edge. Take my edge catcher away for the moment. I want some green at the top. And I don't just want that green at the top. I want that green at the top too. My, my surfaces have stuff in my way. All right, so I can obviously do whatever I want with the beautiful paint that I've got, which I kind of like to use all of. I'm going to grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. I can always add colors. I'm kind of glad I have the black background because I don't know what's going to happen when I tip. I'm going to scrape out my container. And once I get this paint spread, rather quickly I hope, although I'll take whatever time I need. That's going in the bucket. And that's going right there. I, I know, I cut myself off again. I do it all the time. All right, do I want, what do I want? I want to clean that spatula off, but I want more to see what's gonna happen when I tip so I can get to my sky. But I have paint right here that I wanna use. It's on the edge catcher, it's not staying, I will use it. I think the OXO omelette turning spatula works better for that. And why did I take that away? Maybe because I knew in my heart of hearts that I was going to need a clean one. I kind of love having the, uh, the sky area clean right now. I'm going to be really careful not to tip that right all the way over into my artwork. And I am going to grab, if I can find one, knock the water off it.
more paint. Now I can do all kinds of stuff to this and I've never done very much of anything, but I want to, <laughs> so I probably will right now. I don't know if I want it to happen naturally or if I want to use my bamboo skewer, but I seem to be having a pretty good time with the bamboo skewer, so I guess I'm just going to stick with that for right now. I'm going to lead some of that paint over to the edge. I could tip this again, and I might. It's a very surreal landscape. Yep, that went right on my tile. And now it's going to go right down at the bottom. Right over the edge. I'm wondering if I want something else in there. I have no excuse for what kind of land formation this is. I have no idea. It's alien! It's my excuse every time I make something I can't explain. It's alien. Love that green. Kind of like a little bit more of that green. Where is that green? Is that green that green? No, not really. But I want some anyway. And where's my purple? Might as well just have a good time. We've got some pretty cells happening. I'm going to try and not lose all the colors I just added by schmutzing them up totally. That was a nice black lake until I just <laughs> annihilated it. Now I could definitely tip this so that it, a lot of it would come off. And that's extremely tempting right now. Except for I really love this. So maybe we'll go that way. I can always put it back in again, but I want a striped landscape, and this is how I'm going to get it. I may have to take my edge catcher paint and do something else with it. I'm looking for things that do not belong in there. I'm going to tip that flowing paint back the other direction to more evenly distribute it. And I didn't get as much off there as I expected I was going to. And I'm going to wipe it off with my finger right now. Yeah, throw a little bit of it back in there. Wipe off my hands. And think about my sky. Because I have one. And I want to wipe off my OXO omelet turning spatula. And I should tell you pretty quick here, I'm going to be done. So, if you guys want to help me out, give me a thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm to uh, put me in better places. Yes, I see that stuff that does not belong right there in the corner. And it's probably too late to do much of anything about it. This is why I like a wet rag. Because more often than not, fresh paint will still move a little bit. But it's going to be a sky, so I'm, I'm going to get over it. All right, so I tip most of that paint off so that, in theory, I should be able to with a clean Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, get all of that paint out of that cup. Silicone, I think it's a Zazu or something. I go to Marshall's and I see kitchen supplies and I go, oh, I gotta have that. Sooner or later, something will be miraculous. I am gonna use another edge catcher. It really is all about the edge catchers for me lately. I'm going to try and make that cover. I don't know what that is. Maybe it'll go away before I'm done. I like that blue at the top. I kind of want some at the bottom. I think if I want some more of that blue, I'm going to have to find that blue. Make it merge. Yeah, 
Maybe let it flow over again. Right off. I'm very tempted to go ahead and stick my fingers right in there. Just to facilitate time right now. I've got paint on my top. Plenty of it, in fact. And that will be a good thing if we're going to try and use anything else to cover and make my sky nice. I'm not seeing it flow very well. And most of my spatulas have been used. I'm not keeping up with the cleaning. Darn. So I'm going to grab the orange right there and the blue right here. And pretend that I'm not afraid <laughs> that those will mix and make something horrendous. But uh, since this is my favorite pink, and I'm not afraid to use it. Chances are good we'll get out of this. Just by dipping a skewer in and hurting that paint right down and over. The less mixing you, you do, the better off your chances of avoiding the muck. Oh, and I had such pretty cells up there, too. Oh well. You know what? I like that purple. I'm just going to use some of it over here. Alright, so that is what it is. And it's kind of different. And even though I love those cells, I'm going to get rid of them. Ah, good. We got the sun at the top now. And I used my paint on my skewer to roll down over the edge and cover the side. And I am covered in both places. And this is a long, tall, weird scape. We're going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint, and I'm going to try and remember to tell you that I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill. Indoor lessons! Air-conditioned comfort. There's actually a picture of my uh, studio workspace for students on the uh, community board on my channel header now. I noticed that it's much easier to find right now. And that's also the place that I post a lot of uh, videos the night before they are posted the next day. Yeah, I'm having a hard time keeping myself from sticking something in there because I see a little bit of canvas there. Anyway, so we torched to release the bubbles in the paint and also are fortunate that, that often will, will create some patterns of cells. But we don't want to leave the bubbles in the paint because they will form little craters when they pop or little bubbles and you don't want that. If I have anything to cover my edges with, I will after you guys are gone. My paint pouring recipe is below the video under the description. Under show more you will also find the Amazon link where you can find the OXO omelet turning spatulas, best paint spreading tool around, and the uh, Princeton Artel Catalyst spatulas. There's like six or seven of those. If you click on the first list on the Amazon link you will find all of my fluid art tools and, uh, and more. Um, on the end screens of this particular video and all videos, you will find any month's contest and show the prizes and probably an exhibition of artworks on a video there too, which is pretty cool. Right now it's landscapes. Underneath the video, you will find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links at the bottom. Oh yeah, on those end screens, there's over 750 videos. So if you want to binge, I'm your girl. I set up uh, multiple playlists. If you look on my channel, my channel header or under my channel header for the playlists you will find that there are seven new ones by the hundreds so you can keep track of what you're doing as you go along my paintings are for sale <laughs> and if you are looking for a Facebook group to join as a student that would be Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group and if you're looking for a Facebook group <laughs> can't talk a Facebook group to let you be a fan or a collector of my work, there are albums on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors that you can find once you join. You have to join both of those groups, but it's not really a big deal to get in. I let you in right off. So I've got, wow, that was quick, quicker than I expected. This is different and I like it and it's what I wanted and that's really nice thing to have. I got some cleanup to do. 
I love you guys. There's 75,000 of you. I'm pretty sure. I want to say thank you for all of the contributions that have kept me painting all this time in the past. I'm looking for some black because I see some canvas. Where is it? And uh, thank you for the morale boosting comments that you leave me and the appreciation you give me. I really, really do value you guys very much. I love you. Just like I say I do. I really, really do love you. So I hope you don't stop. And I'll be back every day as long as I can possibly manage it. And when you give me a thumbs up and watch longer the video, then the YouTube algorithm knows that I'm worth giving good placement to. And uh, the more subscribers I have, the more likely I am to make a living and continue to bring you guys videos every day. Said I loved you, but I'll say it again. Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery saying, Ta! <laughs> See you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Is everything in the picture? Thank you guys for never getting tired of the sound of my voice, by the way. There's the whole thing. Okay, cool. Finally. All right. Bye now. <laughs>